So everybody needs to take a look at this story. It um, This won't get much play, even though it should be huge. The Intercept is reporting that Merck, the pharma company, sells federally financed COVID pill to U.S. for 40 times what it costs to make. The COVID-19 treatment, Molnupiravir, was developed using funds funding from the National Institutes of Health and the Department of Defense. So, um, let me give you some of the specifics on this. So the pill itself costs $17.74 to make. Um, Merck is charging the U.S. government $712 for the same amount of medicine. 40 times the price. Now, the crazy thing about this story is, this isn't limited to just this new COVID-19 pill. Which is effective, by the way. It's not limited to this. This happens with virtually all the drugs. Almost every new drug is funded with U.S. taxpayer money. And then, pharma companies swoop in, buy up the rights, and price gouge you on the back end. So you fund it twice. You fund it with your tax money up front, and on the back end you get price gouging, you have to pay more out of pocket, and they run out the back door with all the money. It's a scam. And the reason they get away with the scam is because they bought the government, they bought the politicians, so the politicians are in on the scam because they're getting their kickbacks. That's the way this works. It's a criminal mafia. Big Pharma and health insurance companies, by the way, but that's another conversation for another day. It, it's just a giant mafia. It's a scam. This is one area where the price, uh, or excuse me, uh, capitalism and the profit motive is just a terrible incentive, which is inevitably going to lead to this. So, they say, in the first 29 days of the trial of this drug, there were no deaths reported among the 385 patients who received the drug. While eight of the people who received a placebo died. So, that's pretty solid evidence that this is effective. Um... Now, it's not just Merck that's in on this, it's also Ridgeback Biotherapeutics, which is a small Miami-based company. They licensed the medicine from Emory University in 2020, and two months later sold the worldwide rights to the drug maker, Merck. So, in other words, Bio Ridgeback Biotherapeutics um, was involved at the front end with the making of this, with government help, and then they sold the rights to Merck, uh, which is, of course, a bigger pharma company. And we don't know how much they sold it for, by the way. So this was, it was developed using government funds. In fact, I'll give you the specifics. The Defense Threat Reduction Agency, a division of the Department of Defense, provided more than $10 million of funding in 2013 and 2015 to Emory University. Now, you might be saying, well, hold on. How the hell could you do it in 2013 and 2015? When well, that was way before COVID-19, how could they have done the funding? Well, it's very simple. They, um, they were researching this for a different virus. And then, coming to find out, it's an antiviral that is effective against COVID-19. So, uh, it's one of those things. And it's not just the $10 million from um, the Department of Defense that was used for this. Also, the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, which is part of the National Institute of Health, they provided Emory with more than $19 million in additional grants to do this funding, to do this research. So, in total, U.S. taxpayers paid $29 million. But guess what? Merck and Ridgeback are the only ones who are going to reap the profits from this. According to courts... It's going to bring in as much as $7 billion in profit by the end of this year. $7 billion in profit. You funded it, and on the back end, they're going to price gouge you. Seventeen, uh, About $18 a pill, and you're going to, it's over $700 is what you're going to be charged. Tell me why this should be allowed. Tell me why it should be allowed. All the standard arguments here for laissez-faire, free market capitalism, they all fall apart. It was developed with government money, with taxpayer money. It is already socialized in that respect. So now, you allow capitalists and profiteers to swoop in, buy up the rights and sell it back to the American people for 40 times the price? There's no argument there for economic efficiency or it has to work because of the research and development of the capitalist sector. The research and development was not from the capitalist sector. So, what are we doing here? We're just allowing mafia bosses to do mafia shit. We're just allowing pirates to do pirate shit. That's what this is. And nobody's going to call it out. Credit to The Intercept for this article. You'll, you'll see some new media segments on this. You'll see nobody in mainstream media talk about this. Nobody. Nobody. And it's a scandal. It is an absolute scandal. This should not be allowed. You know, this is... If we funded it up front, we should have a free on the back end or at cost. That's it.
And listen, guys, I, you know, I hate to say this, but this is true. You wonder why people are so skeptical of every single institution in this country. This is why. Because people get little bits and pieces of how everything's a colossal scam. So you think this doesn't lead to, like, vaccine hesitancy, for example. Because people look at this and they go, well, if, they'll, if they're willing to do this, maybe they are willing to just give us a fake vaccine that doesn't work and pretend like it works so they can run out the back door with billions of dollars of taxpayer money. This undermines the credibility of the entire system, you jackasses. It's like the Iraq war. Listen, I'm the perfect age to have my political awakening during the Iraq war, during the Great Recession. That destroyed everybody's faith and confidence in all of our institutions. Because it should. It should. We were lied into an illegal and offensive war against a country that didn't attack us, and 14 trillion dollars later, we're still in Iraq. Not in Afghanistan now, but in Iraq. But with all those wars, 14 trillion dollars, what do we have to show for it? Absolutely nothing. It was an imperialist crusade. The, the tax cuts for the wealthy and deregulation led to a market crash. There's been no correction for that. If anything, we went right back to those policies. That's what the Trump tax cuts were in 2017. And the destroying of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and not bringing back Glass-Steagall. People aren't total idiots. They see how the system has screwed them a thousand ways to Sunday. And so sometimes a healthy skepticism becomes cynicism. And you know what feeds cynicism? Stories like this. Stories like this Jacobin was getting piled on the other day for pointing out that there's a reason why the ivermectin story took off. Why so many people believed ivermectin was the cure and the answer to COVID-19. There's a reason why. Because you have support and trust in institutions absolutely exploding, so people are looking for alternative answers, even if those alternative answers ultimately end up to be from charlatans and con men and frauds. And people who are just as bad, if not worse, than the original institutions. Now, they were dogpiled for pointing that out, but it's accurate. It's accurate. Now, ultimately, people have agency, so they should stop and research and do the right thing. I'm not totally taking it away from the individuals here who make their decisions, but you cannot deny that when there's been such an institutional collapse that it is reasonable and rational for everybody to pause and reflect every step of the way and say, what am I really doing here? Who can I really trust here? Because this is just a scam. There's no other word for it. This is just a scam with this new COVID pill, the way that they're they're doing it. It, it works. I believe that because the studies show that it works. And I believe the vaccine works, of course. Um, but this, when you do stuff like this, instead of people having just a healthy skepticism, some people become flat out cynical. And they think the entire system is bullshit. And they're partly correct. So... Do this at your own. Don't act like you weren't warned. I'll just say that. Don't act like you weren't warned. Because we think, we always think we hit rock bottom on this front, but it could always get worse. It could always get worse. You could have a total societal collapse. So, this is a scandal. You won't hear about it anywhere else. And that's a damn shame. Ever since Adpocalypse, when YouTube defunded all independent news and politics overnight, we haven't trusted them. We know they can pull the rug out from underneath us at any time. If you enjoy this content, please consider tipping a dollar or two per month on the Secular Talk Patreon. Link in the video description box below. Thanks for your support.